great to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami, coming up on the program today. We we'll enjoy a solo exhibition of images created by this artist. Then the Center for Contemporary Art is 15. We join the gallery to felicitate with interesting works of art that has been showcased there over the years. We have more on that and other things after we listen to our art quotes for this week. It's not about the market. It's not about the scene. The audience needs to look beyond just the scene and think of the spirit of the artwork. Each one is an exploration. Now to our first feature. This exhibition has been put together to celebrate 15 years of the establishment of the Center for Contemporary Art in Iaba, Lagos. Images in this room have put together to capture 15 years of the Center for Contemporary Art in Lagos, a non-profiting art organization set up by the late Bissy Silva. It shows growth through interaction with artists that have now become household names. I think that the work that CCA has done has been um, insurmountable. Uh, if you look at the walls in this exhibition and just the material, you see so many names. Um, names of people that are now household names in Didi DK, um, Victor Hekemena, Emeka Ogbo, Lemi Garioku. Just so many artists that CCA has worked with over the years, and many of which who have come through to um, either our workshops or talks or had the opportunity to experiment with their artwork as well in this space. Um, and so I would say that the impact has been um, felt, not just in Lagos actually, but globally. The CCA Executive Director tells the guests about the interesting and educating content and resources the centre has gathered over the years. Today, we're actually celebrating the 15th year anniversary. Um, the centre opened on the 8th of December 2007. Uh, so we are just looking back at the last 15 years. Uh, we decided to go through our archive, um, exhibition catalogues, leaflets, flyers, um, and just really just celebrate the space. Um, also to honour our founder, the late Mrs. Silva as well, uh, and her foresight and vision in founding the organisation. And according to the centre, there are many engagements lined up for this year to continue to nurture budding talents and contribute to the development of the art industry, especially now that they own the property. We recently acquired the building, so we're actually in the middle of moving our library to Yaba Tech. Um, we're partnering with the museum there, Yaba Museum, um, and we'll be opening an installation of our library in the new year. Um, we're also partnering with the Goethe Institute um, on an archive project. So we're going to be looking through our archive, digitizing our archive, um, and then guest, um, guest art space as well, Yinka Shoni Barry's foundation. We're going to be um, doing a residency with them as well, so you can expect workshops in that residency in uh, May. So we have quite a bit um, going on um, and we're excited for the new year. And of course, um, while we're out of the building, um, we're expecting the building to be renovated um, and we will be launching the Busy Silver Centre at the end of the year. Research and materials are being put together still with the young artists in view so they can really understand and learn more about their craft. 
We're hoping that our upcoming artists will um, attend our workshops, um, focus on materials, um, and focus on research and developing research practice in their work. Um, CCA was founded with the, the belief that artists need to build criticality and learning into the work that they're producing. Uh, so we want to um, activate our library through book readings and through workshopping as well with our, our partners and our funders. Um, and also looking at art, specific art uh, um, skill sets. So how, how are artists working with different materials like art and technology? Um, so you, um, opening up workshops to young artists to attend um, that's outside of their normal um, practicing medium as well. When the CCA was set up in 2007, it was initially supposed to be just a library or art centre and research resource. But over the years, it has evolved to accommodate art workshops, seminars and exhibitions. The seventh edition of the international fiesta, Artex Lagos, which is now popular for making the commercial city a melting pot for creatives, comes alive again. Theme, who will gather under the Boabab tree, shows the ability of art to address pertinent issues while enlightening the audience. We're leveraging the arts and the audience and the community we have to start to spark important conversations, creative minds, innovative minds, interacting with academic minds and so much more to determine what we as a community wish for our future and to support art that empowers a vision for Nigeria and Africa's future. X is uh, a, a very important art fair in, on the continent of Africa um, because I feel like it brings uh, an opportunity for the audience to be able to look at art that is made in Africa by Africans. a body of work that I made to reflect the state of mind that I was in while thinking about work for Art X. Um, I wanted to do something elaborate but I got overwhelmed um, and then I ended up calming myself down and saying you know what just chill just relax um, and the body of work reflects that that feeling of ease and the different emotions that I battled before coming to that state of ease um, and as usual just like the rest of my work it taps into ideas around memory ideas around celebrating ordinary everyday moments um, and yeah basically nostalgia as well showcasing this body of work the five paintings and two sculptures and the theme is let this be a sign that's the theme you see that i'm trying to walk around um, flowers around as a metaphor to explain the concept of temporariness how that everything is temporary and nothing lasts forever you know flowers are always bright and uh, always vivid in the morning and when it comes to the evening or the dusk, they wither away. So that is um, a good message on the concept of ephemerality. Nothing lasts forever, basically. 31 galleries from across the world, creatives, media houses, 
and art enthusiasts have been coming here for years to experience this festival and the organizers always spice things up by leaving the visitors spellbound as they soak in the beauty of creativity and how far it can go. This year's fair is super exciting. We have 120 artists from 31 galleries across the world showcasing hundreds and hundreds of artworks. We've got galleries from Luxembourg, from Dakar, from Luanda, from Paris, and of course right here at home with us in Nigeria. So it's super exciting. The best from Africa is revealed through various media narratives and styles in a fair which celebrates the diversity and ingenuity of the arts, not just on the continent, but in the diaspora. We also have Art Across Borders, our amazing project that brings together five artists from all the areas of Africa, North, South, East, West and Central. And they've all come to Nigeria, you know, for cultural exchange and to sort of, you know, work with, um, to see what's going on in our scene, to contribute and sort of be in community with one another. Our Access Art Express also has been expanded this year. For the first time, it's going from outside Nigeria to all around the world. Africans and Africans in diaspora can apply and we've had really really great uptake. Our winner from last year, the Access Art Prize winner, Flynn 21, also has a special exhibition going on at the fair which has actually been very well received. So we have quite a number of special projects happening that have been quite quite well received. It is our first time uh, exhibiting in Artex Lagos and we are very happy to uh, be here and be part of the uh, Nigerian ice art scene. <clears throat> uh, we came here to further the visibility of our artists in the region and to, yeah, to be part of uh, the effervescent uh, scene in, in Nigeria. This is the exhibition space, but there were workshops, art talks, competition, children's tour and coloring wall. Then for the first time, an artist development forum a project to bridge the gap between the practitioners and the industry has been introduced. Our wordsmith for today is titled Dear Mama by Dumbo Debi, who also created this work of art to accompany it. Dear Mama, how did you find the energy, Mama, to do all things you did? To be teacher, nurse and counsellor to me when I was a kid. How did you do it all, Mama? Be a chauffeur, cook and friend yet find time to be a playmate i just can't comprehend how did you find the energy mama to endure the grievances of men and the society you told me i will get flowers from the man who loves me but there are many flowers now with no hours so i can't see the love still how did you do yours mama did you bend over backwards to get papa That's a big question, and it's Dumbo's first work for the year, so well done. We're also wishing the CCA many more successful years in the art business. Let's take a moment now. Art House returns with an exhibition and more, so join us again for details. These are the works we sent in this week. Let's begin with this one done by Meze Arts. It's titled Saw. It's a mosaic painting. Then HS Art Gladery is showing us our world today with this mixed media work.
And this acrylic on canvas piece by Demola Sunday is saying, hope is alive. Indeed it is. As long as we're alive, there is hope. Another acrylic on canvas piece, but this one is done by Ogogo. It's called Now I See. Then Stephen Wamba has this oil on canvas work called Splash. Then Kelvin Lee is showing us that chocolate is beauty with his pastel on chipboard paperwork. Then more than a thousand words is an acrylic on canvas piece by Dara Soares. And this piece is an acrylic on canvas work by Obi Juba Art. Then from the series Men After Flower comes this one, done with mixed media on canvas by Adetula Michael. Then if you were a fan of the series Game of Thrones, you'll really be familiar with this character as Desmond captures Arya Star in graphite and charcoal pencils on paper. And that concludes the works of Art You sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in as always and encourage you to keep them coming. The Passage of Time is a solo exhibition by a creative artist at the Art Glass Gallery in Lagos. The banner announces this exhibition, which was done late 2022. More details about the show is inscribed on the entrance of the Hourglass Gallery in Lagos. Then, behold the images as created by veteran Ghanaian artist. Professor Ablade Glover, who wants the audience to see beyond the buses, market scenes, trees, and people rendered in his unique strokes. But first, a brief history lesson about the brain behind the show. The exhibition is called The Passage of Time. It's by a set of one artist called Ablade Glover. Ablade Glover is an, a Ghanaian artist who is probably the most prominent Ghanaian artist um, living today. Um, he's based in Accra. He's done a lot of work. He's 88 and he's been working for the past six or so decades. And he's done very significant work um, to do with crowds, to do with African women, to do with essentially the energy of, of Africans and their interaction with space and with themselves. this passage of time, the artist captures life's journey over the years in his 45 works of art which span over decades with a focus on the African spirit etched on canvas, the joy and beauty of color 
which in its deep sense shows how life should be if we can add more hues to it. The title, The Passage of Time, is a reflection of his evolution over a period. So the works we have, we've got about 45 works, and the artworks span a period of two decades. And it's, it shows the evolution of his ideas over that time. And so that's why we've got the, the title, The Passage of Time, for this exhibition. Passion connection and relationship is what has inspired the founder of this gallery to bring these images to this space to show to the Nigerian crowd. I've dealt with Professor Glover for 20 years or so. Um, so I have a very close relationship with him. I really, on a personal level, I really love his work. And um, I, I connect very strongly with his artworks and what he's trying to do. And I have a very close relationship with him. As I've worked with him over the years, I've also been fascinated by not just his artworks, but his work ethic. He's, he's been, I, I, I think he's a great example for any artist, any young artist. So I decided to do a book on, on him and his work. to Professor Glover's works, the, the works about women. The basis for that work is the idea of strong, elegant African women. Um, he's always tried to, in a sense, portray a certain narrative. And that narrative really is about how in the past women were expressed artistically by African artists as sort of enduring and um, just struggling and um, suffering. But he thought this wasn't, this wasn't the narrative he had. He felt that in his life he had grown up amongst these women who were really vibrant, who were strong, elegant, dignified, and who, even though they faced a lot of struggles and truth, as many humans do, were, took it all in their stride. And I think he, he wanted to be able to express that narrative and present these dignified, colorful, strong women. That's one aspect of his work. Born in Accra in 1934, Abladi Glover is one of the living art legends in Ghana that is proudly flying the country's flag across the globe. Three continents is where his early education took him, from teacher's training study at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, to Central School of Arts and Design, London, for a textile design course, then several stops before heading to Kent State University for a master's degree, and then to Ohio State University for his doctorate. We have a lot more to see, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. Coming up on the next episode of Art House. Water Under the Bridge is an exhibition curated by Olufisayo Bakari at the Yemisishilan Art Museum in Lagos. Nature's Muse, an exhibition by Khalid Balogun at Jelosimi Art Center. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country.
Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House today. We appreciate you for being great company and look forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms where the conversation continues as always. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Stay safe and keep the creative spirit alive.